What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I wanted to share my thoughts on a pretty hot topic in the community right now, and this is, do controller players with their aim assist have an unfair advantage over mouse and keyboard players within Call of Duty, more specifically focusing within Warzone, because that's kind of the big topic right now. And I've seen a pretty good number of mouse and keyboard streamers having this issue and claiming that controller players have some sort of unfair advantage because of their aim assist. So I just wanted to chime in on this topic, share my thoughts on this, and dispel a couple misconceptions I've also seen surrounding aim assist with controllers. Now first up, just to get my bias out of the way, of course I am biased, everybody is in their own ways, I am primarily a controller player, I just quite simply feel more comfortable with a controller in my hands since I've been primarily a console gamer for the past 25 years or so. That's not to say that I'm useless with a mouse and keyboard, I generally hold my own just fine and I have played many shooters over the years with a mouse and keyboard and like I said, I generally hold my own just fine. But just so you guys are aware, I am a console player and primarily a controller player. So I did want to separate this video a little bit here and the first thing I want to talk about is PC versus console because that's often what you associate with mouse and keyboard versus controller is PC has their mouse and keyboard, console has their controller. If we're looking at this specific situation here, do controller players on console have an advantage over PC players on mouse and keyboard? Well, there are some specific situations where aim assist will absolutely be giving them a little bit of a leg up against PC users. These situations tend to be the closer range situations where there's a lot of strafing involved and a lot of movement. In those situations with a mouse and keyboard, it's often very difficult to track, and this is one of the reasons you often see PC players just hip fire at really close ranges when there's lots of strafing involved, because for most PC players, they'll actually hit more shots that way than if they tried to aim down sight and track that target. With aim assist, it will help you stick to that target a little bit as they're strafing side to side, as long as you are also moving your feet, otherwise the aim assist rotation won't kick in. And therefore, in that specific situation, yes, a controller player can gain an advantage over a PC player. However, when we're looking at that specific comparison, I still find it kind of laughable that a PC player would complain about that because of all of the other advantages they have over console. These advantages include a field of view slider, which is huge. That allows them to see so much more and consoles are currently locked with their field of view. And it's a pretty narrow field of view on console as well. So that's a big advantage PC players gain. Also frame rates. PC players have the ability to have frame rates in the hundreds, whereas consoles are capped at 60. Now that's not to say that every PC player is getting a really high frame rate or anything, but I'm talking about the complaints that are typically coming from top streamers, which of course they're getting hundreds of frames per second. Then on top of that, with a PC and mouse and keyboard, you have so many buttons on your keyboard that you can map however you'd like, whereas with controllers you have a very limited number of buttons. Even when you have paddles on the back like I do with a scuff controller, yes that definitely helps and that does give an advantage over people that don't have a controller with paddles on them but it's still not even close to what the PC players have available to them with their keyboards. So that's my opinion on it when we're looking at PC players using a mouse and keyboard versus a console player using a controller. Well, there will be some situations where that console player does gain a slight aim advantage over the PC player. When you factor in all of the other advantages that the PC player has, like I said, I find that to be kind of a laughable complaint from the PC player. Now, having said that, I did want to talk about the second situation, and this is where the lines get blurred a little bit more. This is, what about a PC player using a mouse and keyboard versus a PC player using a controller with aim assist? Now, they both have the advantage of having that added field of view and having a much larger frame rate potential compared to console. So, in this situation, who has the advantage? What is going to be better, a controller or a mouse and keyboard? Well, this is where I want to get into the raw aiming a little bit more here. With a controller, all of our aiming movement has to be done within a range of motion of approximately one inch with our thumb. Everything from our huge spinning movements where we have to do a 180 as fast as possible, all the way down to those really fine precise movements you need to have with your aim to hit those shots on somebody that's head glitching on a piece of cover at medium range for instance, all of that movement has to be done within about an inch. With a mouse and keyboard, this does depend on the setup that the person has, but for most serious mouse and keyboard players, they'll have a relatively large mouse mat and typically a range of motion of roughly 10 to 12 inches. And what this means is it allows them to basically spin on a dime with those really large movements over their range of motion while still having very fine control over their aim with those more precise movements. So objectively speaking, the mouse is absolutely the superior tool for aiming within FPS games. 
And aim assist aside, I'm sure almost everybody would agree that the average mouse and keyboard player would dominate over the average console player. This is why aim assist exists. It's simply to make up for the fact that the thumbstick isn't the greatest tool for aiming in an FPS game. And this is where I want to dispel a really common misconception with aim assist on controller. I see this a lot from PC players. They really like calling aim assist auto aim. And I think they do this, whether consciously or unconsciously, as hyperbole to exaggerate what aim assist does for controller players in order to make themselves feel better about losing the situation. Aim assist is absolutely not auto aim. Auto aim implies that the game is automatically doing the aiming for you and that your inputs don't really matter because it's automatic. That is so far from the truth. If you take the average controller player out there, they are generally not very good at aiming, even with aim assist active. And this is why there is a pretty decent skill gap between some of the top controller players out there and the average to below average controller player out there. If we actually had auto aim, then it wouldn't really matter. There wouldn't be a skill gap there because everybody would have automatic aim and therefore everybody's aim is equal because the game is just doing all the aiming for you. That's why I see auto aim as an absolutely ridiculous term. The reason it's called aim assist is it assists you with your aim. Your inputs are still very important and there still is a skill in mastering those inputs in order to become better at aiming with a controller because the aim assist will help you get on target and it can help you stay on target as long as you are also moving and activating aim assist rotation. It does not aim for you. For those that aren't aware, Modern Warfare and all other Call of Duty multiplayer games have two different types of aim assist. There's aim assist slowdown and this is the aim assist that you get where if you sweep your aim over a target that's within your aim assist range, it will simply slow your sensitivity down in a bubble surrounding the enemy player. So it helps kind of stick your aim to the general vicinity around the enemy player so that you don't immediately overcompensate and sweep way past your target. This bubble extends well outside the character model so you still need to do the precise movements within that bubble once you get to it. It's not just gonna stick directly on the target by itself. On top of that, we have aim assist rotation, and this only activates when your feet are moving. If you stand completely still, you won't get any aim assist rotation whatsoever. And also the range on this is significantly shorter than the range on the aim assist slowdown. And with this one, this will actually help you stick to your target a little bit if they are moving back and forth while you are also moving back and forth. Again, this still does require input on your part, it's not just going to stick there all by itself. You still have to generally guide your aim by yourself. It's not just going to lock you onto target. But this is what primarily helps in those close quarter situations when there's lots of strafing involved. One type of aim assist that does not exist within Call of Duty multiplayer that a lot of PC players still seem to think does exist is aim assist snapping, where if you were to aim down sight somewhat near a target but not on target, then it would automatically snap you to the target. This is something that you will see in Campaign for Call of Duty and in Zombies for Call of Duty. You can see this aim assist snapping, but it doesn't exist within multiplayer. You actually see this in Fortnite as well. If you aim down sight somewhat close to your target in Fortnite, it will snap to your target a little bit. That doesn't happen in Modern Warfare. We only have slowdown and rotation. So for any PC players out there that think that there is aim assist snapping where you just have to aim near the target and as long as you're kind of close enough, it'll get you on target, that simply doesn't exist. So aim assist, in Modern Warfare at least, is not auto aim, it is aim assist. So having a look at that situation, two PC players, one using a controller with aim assist, the other using a mouse and keyboard, who has the advantage? Well, sometimes controller players, when it's generally close quarters and there's a good amount of movement involved, and other times it's the mouse and keyboard player, especially at those mid to somewhat longer ranges or whenever there's a little bit less movement involved. On top of that, we still have to factor in the fact that a mouse and keyboard player has a keyboard with a ton of keys that they can map exactly how they would like them, whereas the controller player is limited in the amount of buttons that they have available to them. So as it is right now, I honestly feel like they've done a pretty good job of trying to balance the two different input types. These inputs are quite simply never going to be completely equal in all situations. It's just not possible to do that. And if there were no aim assist involved whatsoever, the controller player generally wouldn't have a chance against a mouse and keyboard player. So the way they've implemented it, now the controller has some advantages sometimes, and the PC player has advantages in the other times. And I think that's about as good as they're going to get with it. I think they found a pretty good balance within Modern Warfare. Now ideally, especially considering the fact that Warzone seems to have a massive player count, I would much rather see 
a more pure version of input based matchmaking where if you are using a controller, whether that be on console or PC, you should only be in controller lobbies. And then if you're using a mouse and keyboard, whether that be on PC or a console, then you're in mouse and keyboard lobbies. And then if you have mixed teams, perhaps they could have their own lobbies or they would have to do something with those people. But overall, I would be totally on board with just trying their best to completely separate the two different inputs. And then this issue just wouldn't arise in the first place. And actually, now that I think about it, I think I would much rather even prefer if you just had consoles that have crossplay with each other and PC is its own game, as long as they've got the player base to support that, which I think they would since it is free to play. And then as a console player, I would never have to worry about and have to deal with PC players that are using actual aim bots. So yeah, if PC players don't like console players in their lobby, I would be totally happy to never have to play against a PC player and therefore never run the risk of running into an aimbot or somebody with wall hacks. So yeah, that's my take on this topic. I do feel that controller players definitely gain some advantages in some situations, but mouse and keyboard players have their advantages as well, and I honestly feel they've done a pretty good job finding a balance. But of course, I'd like to know in the comments section below, First off, I feel it will be important for you to state what you primarily play on, controller or mouse and keyboard, and then what is your opinion on this matter? Just let me know those thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.